graphing y equals tan open bracket x minus pi over 3 close bracket the general tan function equation is y equals a tan open bracket bx minus c close bracket plus d it's always good to know the it's always good to know the parents function in this case when you're drawing any particular function in this case tan of x the tan of x goes through 0 here tan of 0 is 0 and tan, this is 90, 45 is here, tan of 45 is 1, and tan of minus 45 is minus 1. And tan of minus 90 is infinity. So basically the graph just comes in from infinity. to 1, and then it goes back to infinity there. That's what the graph looks like. And so that's a period from that point to that. That's from pi over 2 to minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 is a period. So this graph has a period of pi and it repeats every period. Okay, so to sketch the graph of y, uh, open bracket x minus pi over 3, we look for the amplitude. It doesn't have any amplitude because the graph goes to infinity negative from negative infinity to positive infinity and the period is pi over b in this case the period is pi here because pi over b b is 1 that's b here we also have pi over b and b is 1 so the period here is going to be pi over 1 which is pi we need to look at the x scale and that tells us where the line of asymptote is for pi for tan and cotangent and in this case the x scale is period which is the period that we've just calculated over 2 because we have two line of asymptote for every period so that's 2 and that we give pi over 2 pi over 2 is 90 degrees so that's the um, x scale now we need to find the start of the plot well, the start here is when we set x, what's in the bracket, to 0. In this case, x equals to 0, so that's where we start from 0, from the parent function. Well, here, we need to, again, equate what's in the bracket to 0. So in this case, we have x minus pi over 3 equal to 0, and that implies that x equals to pi over 3. And... Uh, and pi over 3 is 60 degrees. So we need to add, start at 60 and we add 90. That's what this is telling us. Any vertical translation? We don't have any vertical translation because vertical translation is plus D. And D is 0 here. This is plus 0. So that's why we are not shifting the graph beyond 0. Likewise, this is plus 0. So we're not going to shift this graph at all. It's just going to pass through where its starting point at y equals to zero. Right, so to sketch the curve now, I have um, this graph here and the starting point is pi over three. Pi over three is 60. So this is 30, 60. This point is 60 and it is going through 60 and because it's going through 60 it's then going to 60 is pi over 3 so let's just put it at pi over 3 so that's 60 90 120 150 so that's 150 here so that's 150 and 150 is 5 pi over 6 so if we just draw the line of asymptote here, and I can just write five pi over six, and that's one fifty. So one fifty degrees. This is sixty degrees. And that's 90. I'm taking away 90 from 60, so I get minus 30. So 
minus 30 is here, so if we draw that, that's the other line of asymptote. So there's always two line of asymptotes. So you can see it it's telling us what to do, really. It says you start at pi over 3, which is 60, add 90 to it, your scale, so you add 90, you count 90, and you go 150. Take away 90 from 60, you get minus 30. Minus 30 is minus pi over 6, right? So the curve is going through, coming from there, infinity, and it goes like that. And then it goes like that. It doesn't touch the line of, that's a line of asymptote. It doesn't touch it, so it just approaches it. So if you zoom into it, you will see it doesn't touch it. Okay, so you could do another period to the left, so you can have two periods. So the distance from that to there is a pi, because 180 is a pi, and 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 times 6 is 180, and that's the pi. Now, okay, so I'm also, the next one will be from here to, if this is 180, you can see I go from 0 by a pi, so this is going to be another 180. So this is 210, so that will be 210 degrees, and that's 7 pi over 6. That's what 210 will be, 7 pi over 6. You might be thinking, how do I know that so quickly? Well, I'll give you the secret in a minute. So that's 7 pi over 6. So how do I know that quickly? Well, so we are adding, we start at pi over 6, pi over, over 3. I can change that to um, denominator to make it 6. Multiply that by 2, multiply that by 2, so that will be uh, 2 pi over 6, right? And I need to change these 90 to also pi over 2 over 6, so multiply that by 3, so that will be 3 pi over 6. So I keep adding 3 pi over 6, right? So if I have uh, that's minus pi over 6, so I need to add minus 3 pi over 6. So that's what 90 is. So this, this is going to go through the point of, uh, so this is uh, 1, 2, 3 here. So that's where it's going to go through, the middle. So that's going to be minus 4 pi over 6. Why is it minus 4? Because I'm adding minus 90 now to... Uh, because that's the line of asymptote here, so I need to add another 90 to that. So, and then I need to add another 90 to that. So, minus 4 pi over 6 plus minus 3 pi over 6 will give me minus 7 pi over 6. So, that's minus 7 pi over 6. Does that make sense? because I'm adding 90, in this case I'm adding minus 90 to the negative side. And so it's going to go through there. So the curve will be coming from the um, negative as uh, infinity approaches there, and then it will then go to approach the line of asymptote there. So that's what the, this is first period from there to there, and that's the second period, or first period, second period. So that's what the graph looks like. What is the domain and the range? Well, the range for this graph, range, is the y values, right? So y colon, it goes from minus infinity, less than y, less than plus infinity. Well, I don't know what infinity is, so I couldn't say equals to infinity. And the uh, domain, domain is the x value. So this is the x value for the graph. And the x value, we go from x colon. Now we have 
that includes all real values. So that means all real values because you get all real values here, 30, 40, 50, those are the values. But there are con there's a condition where x is not equal to, right, it's not gonna equal to five pi over six, right? Because that's the line of asymptote. So I could write five pi over six. And then the next line of asymptote is a pi away. So I will do plus pi n, right? So we can test that to see whether that makes sense. Okay, when n is zero, you're just gonna get five pi over six, there you go, five pi over six. So that it does not equal to that. When n is minus one, minus one, so you will get five pi over six, right, minus pi, because that's n is minus one. Remember, n is integer. So that's what, when n, so that means, uh, well, in order to turn this to the same denominator, that would be six over six. So five pi minus six pi will give minus pi over six. There we go. Minus pi over six is the line of asymptote. So it actually works. We can try it again. The next one is when n is minus two, this is minus one pi. When n is minus two, sorry, this is minus one. When n is minus two, so if you put minus two there, you're going to get five pi over six minus two pi, because n is minus two. And what do you get? Okay, multiply this by six, multiply that by six, so that becomes 12 over six. Well, five pi minus 12 pi will be minus seven pi over six. So there you go, minus seven pi over six. So how do you know how to work it out? Well, the domain is going to be, well, all real values, except the conditions are the boundaries where it's the line of asymptotes. So to spell that, um, let's see, line of asymptotes. So with the line of asymptotes, well, X, just pick one of these. You have to pick, pick any, you can say, well, in this case, this is the um, obstruction, this is the boundary. So it's five pi over six. X cannot equal to five pi over six, but it's periodic, right? So every pi is periodic. So you say, okay, plus pi n, because it's only pi that it's repeating. And that's how you do it. And that's the domain. So this is the graph of y equals tan x minus pi over 3.